I just wanted to ask about you, Mac. Yeah. What has life been like after Impulsive, after 4546 White Oak Avenue? Ooh, you, wow. you, move, you move back to Cleveland, Ohio, you know, our Great home city, city where yep. we met. Yep. What, what's, what's you been doing? A lot of things. As, as everybody knows, I've been continuing the artistic journey. I've found my, my stride in understanding that I am a person that has complex and deep feelings, emotions, intentions that as I continue to dive further into myself, I will arrive at the things that I'm supposed to learn for me and hopefully share those with other people so they don't have to learn themselves. Um, but I've been painting a lot. I've been writing a lot. I put out a, my first book last, uh, was, that would have been two years ago now. So I'm on number two right now, writing Providence. that. Providence. Providence was the first book. Uh, second book is going to be uh, an upside down and backwards version of that. But uh, that's all I'll say at the moment. I've been exploring the real estate industry and trying to figure out how I can bring the ideas of the houses that I've always dreamed of, these uh, extensive buildings and community gathering spaces to life. I'm not an architect, but I am a dreamer. And I spend a lot of time when I'm uh, sitting, meditating, dreaming about these places that can invoke change for communities, for people individually, so I can uh, spark the spirit of everyone that's trying to discover what life truly is. Mm. Um, and I've been really reducing my proximity to my simple life in Westlake, Ohio. I do love Cleveland, but I do specifically love Westlake because it was a place that I was raised in and it has taught me so much and to give back to my community in the, the way that I do and the people around me, the artists that I work with, that I can share the moments that I've gained with you two. Spencer, of course, this guy's literally changed my life in the past two days, but also the past of my life. Greg, you've also in, inspired my life significantly in Westlake, but I've learned so much from you two. And every day I am met with a new artist or a familiar artist that I'm working with that I can share the things I've learned from you two and the world that we've created here and make their lives better and more uh, possible. So a little, little bit of creative coaching plus, of course, my own creative pursuits. Very well, cool. Dude, me and you have a, we'll always have a creative bond because you designed everything for the fifth idol, which is so sick, yeah. dude. Not, wow. not a lot of people know, know but Yeah, cover the. I, I took the photo for the cover. I did the audio book for the fifth <laughs> idol. <laughs> Sat in that row. Oh, by the way, by the way, after four years, I got a, a DM yesterday from someone who realized that in the audio book, I said that I would go to cities to sell people to weed that I'd never even met. <laughs> Not to sell weed to people I'd never even met. I was selling people so to weed. <laughs> we can fix it, we One can fix it. One person out of the hundreds of thousands of people We found can fix it. it. But yeah, we, but yeah, yeah it's, been a, it's been a wild run. It's crazy to be sitting back here yeah. with you guys. So it's stuff like that. It's, it's things like that. And I, I, I would like to take a moment to say that a lot of people don't realize that I do every single creative uh, outlet, which is audio, video, photo, poetry, painting, podcasting, and all these things. And I'm so happy that I'm able to encourage and support others that are doing that. That's what I do every day. I'm, I, I love my life. Hey guys, if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more zany clips, click the video right here. <laughs>